I am Paul G. Mateo. I'm here to present you the Koza Zentor AI60 high resolution NMR spectrometer from Aspect Imaging. This system now represents a strategic change in the use of NMR from the traditional analytical laboratory to the process laboratory, at line in process plants and in pilot plants, and all the way to online systems. Its unique design enables complete functionality and automation and user friendliness to enable NMR spectroscopy to use where you need it, when you need it. The system consists of entirely in a permanent magnet design, requiring no cryogens as traditional high field NMRs, and requires only a simple plug into the wall. It offers the ability to have the same performance in terms of sensitivity and resolution as traditional NMR spectrometers of much higher cost and field, but it is now able to go to the chemist, to the plant, or into the process without difficulty or obstacles. So in the first example, to show its ability as a true high-resolution NMR spectrometer, you're seeing the performance features on a standard sample. This is showing the sensitivity and resolution on a single pulse of ethyl benzene without traditional NMR spinning. As again, a representative on real-world samples, here are some examples of pharmaceutical materials, over-the-counter drugs such as ibuprofen, lidocaine, and other materials. The sampling is robust, easy to use, and uses traditional NMR samples. However, it does not require traditional NMR solvents. You can run samples neat if required, or use the samples in deuterated materials as normally done, but those deuterated materials are no longer required. To show its ease of use, I am running a real-time spectra of coal oil, an essential oil used in a number of fragrances and um, materials, and it is running live. And to prove that, I'm going to remove the sample while the sample is running. As you see, we use traditional NMR tubes. They are low cost, and they could be used in any application that you need. And as you see on the display, the, the spectra has disappeared, but, but just by inserting the sample, everything comes right back in normal operations. Everything proceeds to go in normally, and it, everything is done automatically. So all the NMR acquisition, all the NMR data processing, including referencing and saving the data is auto, all automatic. We are able to also then exploit that in a number of different ways. One of the unique designs compared to any other uh, type of spectrometer in this is our ability to change our cartridges, our probe cartridges easily to, to fit the need of the application. Here you are seeing a variable temperature probe that is designed to go from minus 20 to 180 degrees C. It is able to go into the system like this, take the old one out, put the new one in, and keep running. You also see that we're able to use the same sample holder for the NMR tubes, so everything is interchangeable. We're also able to adapt this system to a continuous flow probe, so we can do real-time reaction monitoring using NMR, and being able to flow from one to 20 mils a minute without loss of sensitivity or resolution. What this enables you to do is now bring the NMR to the chemist rather than having the chemist bring their entire reaction setup into the NMR lab. And you are seeing that as an example on the screen. Here is a comparison of the NMR, the Aspect AI60 in a traditional NMR lab with a large uh, 400 megahertz just off the screen on the top slide. We are comparing the performance on a continuous flow basis from the same reaction vessel in the hood. Our performance is exactly equivalent to that on the, the 400 megahertz system that's there. We are able to take a spectrum, single spectrum every 10, 10 seconds on a continuous flow basis without any loss of data. The data integrity is equivalent to the 400 megahertz system. So what we can do with this also is then take this into applications where we can have operators or technicians run the NMR and get data in real time without having the, to use um, an NMR expertise at all. And that is what I'm showing here. We have an application where we can 
we can analyze the omega-3 fatty acid content in fish oils and fish oil supplements without the GC methodology of separation. We just run the samples in as neat, and I will, as you can see here, we are able to speciate the two omega-3 fatty acids as shown on this slide to high precision and accuracy as equivalent to the GC. And I will now demonstrate that in terms of the ability to run that. So in real time, I will take out my sample of clove oil. I will take my first oil, fish oil sample. And you will see that that sample will come in and the spectra will completely change. However, that's not required in an application where a technician or an operator may be just required to take the sample into the laboratory. What we'll have here is a user interface that enables the person to put in their name or their ID, the sample identification, and any comments that have to go with it. We have a series of the ability to pull down on a menu and operate this for our set applications. By choosing the right application for the sample, the person just has to process the data and the data will come through and automatically give the results. We will also archive the results and the spectra so if it needs to be traced back later, all the data is archived and ready for any um, data station or limb system that you need to output it to. So in a matter of a minute and a half, we will replace a GC analysis that takes better than an hour with a lot of sample prep and all it was required was putting the fish oil sample into the tube. And at that, our results will now show up on the slide. I can also then go, if I have multiple sample types, that's not required for me to do anything but change the pull down menu. This is now switching to a petroleum crude oil. And from that, I will be able to then take that petroleum crude oil, pull, change my application strategy, and start the analysis. And now I will do a fast, rapid crude assay without doing anything behind the scenes to the spectrometer. All automated, all easy to use, very user friendly. And in about 20 seconds, we will have our results. And there is our results. And to show you that I wasn't doing anything Strange, I've changed the spectrum, and again, to prove you that was running live, I will pull the sample out. I would like to now go back briefly to the discussion again about the major advantage of our system, and that is the variable temperature application. Again, our probe cartridges are interchangeable depending on the need. Our probes run from standard five millimeter tubes to variable temperature sample tubes or for continuous flow to 10 millimeter tubes that allow us excellent sensitivity for applications such as phosphorus 31 NMR. Now with this system in the variable temperature probe, which is unique to the Aspect AI60, we are able to then improve our use of the, of the, the data analysis in the, in the field. This is a sample of a, um, a nutraceutical material, a probiotic material that's based on saccharide chemistry. The major peak there, it's all run in, in regular solvents, so that major peak in the middle is the solvent peak of water. And there is a strategic peak of the sample underneath that water peak. With our variable temperature accessory, we are able to reposition that peak such that it moves out of the way to enable full quantitation of the peaks. That variable temperature is able to strategically give us an advantage over our, a number of other systems because we can improve the utility of the system in the field. Finally, the system is, the same system is able to go into an explosion proof, fully rated safety enclosure and be brought right into the online process systems in a wide variety of env environments. Again, NMR where you need it, when you need it. The Aspect AI60 from Cosa Zentor. Thank you.